before we get into some serious photo work, I want to take some time and clear up any questions and ambiguities about how to use dodge and burn in our workflow and give you a good understanding of what they are. Where did the names dodge and burn come from? Dodge and burn were used in photography as a technique during the printing process to manipulate the exposure of a selected area on a photographic print, altering only the selected part of the image, leaving the rest of the photo intact. This was done by blocking the light from reaching the image, and this was done entirely by hand, with different materials of different shapes and sizes. With the advent of digital photography, and especially since Photoshop becoming the industry standard software, dodge and burn abilities became available to the masses. To put it simply, dodge means that parts of the photo are highlighted, and burn means that parts you choose will be dimmed, i.e. going from light to dark, and vice versa. This is done manually, and whether you are lighting or dimming an area, you are implementing this old but extremely effective technique for manipulating light. The most useful thing about this technique is that everything is done in a non-destructive way, keeping the photo and textures intact. What does this mean? When you remove something with the healing brush, for example, in addition to light, and you change the colors and textures in an image, these are destructive changes because it replaces existing information with another texture or color, and it cannot be restored. Dodge and burn leaves the texture intact and only changes the light, making it one of the most powerful working methods, and this is the right place to show you how to do it. However, let's first talk about where and how we can use this method, other than just changing small areas in the photo on the skin. You can change the overall exposure of a photo by flattening certain and pre-selected areas that cannot be corrected during the shooting process, such as dimming the light areas of an object or showing details from the shadows while shooting. This is commonly done to get the attention of the viewer of the picture because, as we all know, the eye is drawn like a magnet to the lightest parts of the picture. Using this method, you can easily select the path or object that the onlooker will notice when viewing your work. Also using this method, you can easily create a visual collision and enhance the contrast between light and dark areas, making the image much more impactful for viewers. You can use it by selecting which parts of the photo to manually manipulate without affecting the rest of the image. There is no other tool in Photoshop that can achieve such precise results. All you need is a little patience, some skill, and your imagination, and you can achieve amazing results. Mm -hmm.